few video game genres have truly captured the attention of millions quite like battle royale games, a concept that quickly evolved into a global phenomenon, dominating the gaming landscape and captivating players across the world. As the dust settles on the battlefield, let's look at the rise of the popular multiplayer genre and also question if we are witnessing its decline. The concept of a battle royale is nothing new, with influences in the gaming space going back to the 90s from games such as Bomberman to the release of the battle royale movie in the year 2000. There have been multiple attempts at bringing the genre to life across all forms of media, especially in anime, movies and now video games. Western audiences consider the popularization of battle royale genre to stem from the release of the Hunger Games movies. The video game space got its first real taste of the genre through a Minecraft Hunger Games inspired mod, which was later retitled Survival Games, with large scale competitions between content creators being very successful and bringing in lots of views. We then saw the emergence of many mods in other video games that took a similar approach while varying slightly to what we know as a battle royale today. The DayZ mod for Armour 2 in 2012, now a video game in its own right, saw an influx of mods designed around the basic concept of turning what was a more open-ended zombie survival game into a player vs player focused game mode to crown an outright winner. Brendan Green, known as Player Unknown, was a mod developer behind the Battle Royale theme DayZ mod in 2013, as well as an improved version in 2014 for Armour 3. The creation of this mod was one of the most influential moments in the popularisation of the genre and introduced elements and gameplay mechanics that would be used for years to come, such as shrinking borders, random loot collection and more. Green also consulted on the creation of H1Z1, now known as Z1 Battle Royale. Z1 was one of the earliest games to adopt the Battle Royale approach back in 2015, but these games were only the beginning for the success for Battle Royale games. Green went on to become the creative director for a standalone game that brought his vision from his mod to life. Alongside publisher Crafton, Green helped to develop PUBG Battlegrounds, named after his alias Player Unknown, 2017. Helped with being a free to download game, PUBG's popularity skyrocketed and elements of the game were taken and merged into other video games, evolving this newly adopted genre across the industry. Influenced by H1Z1 and PUBG came the new phenomenon in the gaming space that we know as Fortnite. In 2017, Epic Games pivoted away from the co-op survival games that they are building with Fortnite and instead put more focus into bringing in elements of the battle royale genre that were sweeping the world. It's no surprise to say that Fortnite was an overnight success and even to this day in 2024 it's one of the most played games of all time and tops player counts across all consoles. Fortnite's popularity even led to lawsuits, specifically Crafton subsidiaries, Blue Hole Studios and PUBG corporations. Many reasons were provided for the basis of the lawsuits such as a conflict of interest as Epic Games provided technical support to the studios for Unreal Engine. There were also issues raised about the potential copyright infringements and fear that Epic would implement features into Fortnite before PUBG could do so on their end. These lawsuits were eventually dropped, but were definitely a sign that the battle royale genre was starting to heat up. Fortnite's free-to-play model and casual approach made it accessible and set a precedent for things to come in the genre. Fortnite and other battle royales grew to astronomical numbers alongside the rise of streamers. While not a new concept, the trend of streaming battle royale games was it at its peak in 2018 and onwards, with people such as Ninja taking advantage of an ever-evolving industry. Call of Duty then joined the mix with an attempt at a battle royale mode with Blackout as part of the 2018 release of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It was met with a mixed reception but was the basis for bigger things to come. Following the free-to-play model from Fortnite, which later evolved into the issue of Season Passes, but that's a conversation for a later date, Activision capitalised on the genre with the introduction of Call of Duty Warzone. A brand new battle royale integrated into all of the Call of Duty entries since, with cross progression across modes and leading to a new boom for Call of Duty. The game released in March 2020 and coincided with the 2019 pandemic, which led to a huge increase in player counts and a further boom across the gaming industry. Like Fortnite, Warzone is still popular to this day, though reception of the game is ever in flux as they bring out a new version of it and add new things and, and take new maps away. Finally there came Apex Legends, a spin-off of the series Titanfall developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by EA. Apex sits near the top of player counts alongside Fortnite and Warzone, where all three provide a completely different gaming experience, with players gravitating to one over the other depending on their playstyle preference in PvP shooters. 
there are also other battle royales popping up every day and while the genre may not be at its peak anymore, is it necessarily in decline? Newer battle royale games may struggle to grasp that popularity that was once there to be taken and may quickly die out. We've seen it happen with games such as Radical Heights and Rumbleverse, as well as other games such as Fallout 76 that despite a recent increase in popularity, abandoned elements of the battle royale genre early on in favour of taking another approach. The genre has also left a lasting legacy on the gaming industry as a whole. It was battle royale games that first implemented the battle pass system that we now see in virtually every multiplayer game that gets released. The free to play model with optional microtransactions for further unlocks and game cosmetics have brought in huge revenues for game developers and have had a major lasting impact on the industry as a whole. As the gaming landscape continues to evolve in 2024 and beyond, we can agree on one thing, the spirit of innovation and creativity that propelled these games to success lives on. It's the ever changing cycle that keeps bringing players back each time, a lot of the time it can be replicated. Games like Fortnite, Apex Legends and Warzone will stay popular as long as they continue to innovate and change. There are certainly elements of a decline here as popularity is nowhere near it once was, but a decline doesn't have to be in the end. And as we know in the gaming industry, anything can happen as the industry changes. Thanks for watching, let us know what your favourite battle royale game is down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.